Jalzino Azimi in three, Nathan Neal of Nigeria in four, then Hyde of Jamaica in five, the Kenyan Mukobi in six, McMaster, the defending champion, fourth in the Olympic Games last year, he goes in seven, Mativia of Canada in eight, and Matunga of Kenya in nine, a brace of Kenyans going in this one. And there is uh, Jamil Hyde, world under 20 champion back in 2014, and he retained the title two years later, that is special. Look at that sky. Absolutely glorious. The crowd enjoying these unfolding field events and track action. The drama is everywhere they look at the moment. Well, in lane nine, there is William Matunga, experienced athlete. Season's best in his heat of 49.99, but uh, lane nine will be a tough call for the Kenyan, 29 years old. Went out in his heat four years ago in those Kenyan colours. His lifetime best was seven years ago, fence 49-43. In lane eight, Malik Mativia, his first best for Canada at these games. Third in his heat in 51-5, but he's a 48-8 performer this year. Could be a surprise. Curran McMaster, the defending champion, fourth the World Championships in Doha, fourth in Tokyo. He won easily in 2018, by the way, by quite a few metres. In sixth, there's Wiseman Mikobi, third in the African Championships in Mauritius back in early June. Won his heat in 50.03. He's got a lot more in the tank. Jahil Hyde of Jamaica goes in five. Sixth at the World Championships, the bronze medalist four years ago. He won his heat in 49.16. That's a good draw, lane five. Ezekiel Nathaniel of Nigeria, a semi finalist in Eugene at the World Championships. 50.3 in his eight, but he's a 48.4 athlete this year, a national record he set for the Nigerians this season. Dino Azimia of the Seychelles went out in his heat in the uh, World Championships and in the Olympics last year. 49.8 performer at his best. And Alistair Chalmers, well, semi finalist in Eugene for Guernsey here. That was obviously in British colours. He has lane two, those tight inside bends are. Not going to be much to his liking, the Bath University student, coached by James Hillier. But Jamil Jahil Hyde On your mark. goes in, lane five. He has Makobi of Kenya in six outside him, Karen McMaster, the defending champion. There he is in those uh, glorious royal blue colours of the British Virgin Islands. He's a 47.08 performer, is Karen McMaster. And at 25, pretty much in his prime, he'll have been frustrated with his fourth places in major championships to date. The defending champion, though, in the Commonwealth Games. Set. Oof. Well, Malik Mativier, it was, I think, out in lane eight who came up early, but we'll have to wait and see. He might claim there was a lot of noise in the crowd beside him. That's what he should claim. There were cameras clicking and everything, and they'd have to try and disprove that. Whew, I don't want to advise a, a smart game, but that's, I think, what I would be saying. Kath Merry, you're a sprinter. What would you do in this situation? Walk away and take it on the chin? No, i just keep my eyes down, walk back, put myself back in position, and, and see what happens. You wouldn't point at your ear and say noise from the crowd? No, he's doing... Yeah, he's gone. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that yeah. is a huge shame. The Canadians have had such a great championships. Oh, that is a desperately sad moment for this fella. 23, his first ever experience in a Canadian vest, apart from the uh, heats, and he's gone. And lane eight is empty. That means McMaster inside him, the defending champion, will have empty space in front of him for quite a long way until Mutunga on the outside. The men's 400 meter hurdles final, Chalmers of Guernsey in two, Dino Azimia of Seychelles in three, Nathaniel of Nigeria four, Hyde Jamaica five, Mukobi Kenya six, McMaster in seven, Mutunga in eight on the outside. Set. And away this time, now the real danger to McMaster, the defending champion, is Jahil Hyde in yellow, centre of picture in the colours of Jamaica, and he's already made up a lot of ground on Wiseman Makobi of Kenya. Third to left is Makobi. Hyde in the yellow, hurdling first. He's well up on McMaster at the moment as they come to the halfway stage, and he continues to go further ahead. 
The stagger will unwind in his favour now. The three athletes to the right there, a long way out of it at the moment. Brilliant running is from Mokobi of Kenya between the big two. He's battling away here, Mokobi, trying to keep my master at bay, trying to keep the hide at bay as well. They come into the straight, and has McMahon's master judged it best? Yes, he has. The man from the British Virgin Islands clears the final barrier well, and he's going away, and it's a storming win again, like four years ago. The winning margin, four or five metres, maybe more. That is brilliant, 48.93. He judged that absolutely to perfection. Jahil Hyde, maybe a little over-enthusiastic over the first 300 metres, was right up on him around the crown of the uh, second bend. But that was a masterful run over the 10 barriers from Curran McMaster. A very smart, balanced race, exactly as we saw from Janine Russell in the women's 400 meter hurdles about 50 minutes ago. She bided her time and got it exactly right. Judgment is absolutely critical. You've got to save something for the running off that final barrier. You have indeed, and the roar was for Alistair Chalmers because he's picked up the bronze medal with 49.97. He finished. Oh, my day. It was just absolutely brilliant from the athlete from Guernsey. Kyron McMaster, as you say, Tim, dominated that, defending his title. I'm so pleased for him. Jahil Hyde started quickly, but the tall, lean figure from the British Virgin Islands Timed it to perfection. Keep an eye on the Jamaican here. Hyde in lane number five. An absolute rocket was going round him. Most four hurdlers take between 13 and 15 strides between the barriers. Ed Moses was the first man to go 13s all the way round. But at this point, the Jamaican was in total control. But McMaster was relaxed, nice and easy. Keep your eye on Chalmers on the right of the shot. The was in the mix at this point. Keep an eye on him. There you go. The Kenyan then clattered the hurdle. His stride pattern was a little bit disrupted. But Master was going away with this one. There was no doubt in my mind. But look at Chalmers on the right of the shot. That was a beautiful take of the 10th barrier, that was. That was amazing. Beautiful race. Enjoyed that. The Kenyan ended up falling, but did finish in fourth just outside 50 seconds, Tim. But this guy, what can you say? Defended his title. The eighth fastest man of all time is not in that form at the moment. We know that, but he came and he delivered. Yeah, a very, very smart retention of his title there. And you're right, Chalmers, such a strong late run down the home straight. He's a big fella, isn't he? Alistair Chalmers, the Guernsey lad. Sixth in the world under 20s four years ago. He's always had great potential. He has run 48-8 this year. A new lifetime best. Didn't need to come... Anywhere near that, well over a second outside it there over in lane two, but he negotiated those tight turns while uh, McMaster storms to gold by six metres, maybe more. Silver for the Jamaican Hyde. And yeah, Chalmers was comfortably the bronze medalist. That was a desperate dive from McCoby there at the line. I think it was half dive, half collapsing with the legs. Current McMaster then, the Commonwealth.